Okay, in today's video, we're gonna do a veggie grill mukbang. Um, this is my cousin Marlon. We haven't made a video in a really long time. <laughs> but if you're an old subscriber, you might remember we did a couple. It was also a food video back then. It was, was like, it? remember we tried uh, drink videos? Like we both oh, yeah. each other with oh, a yeah, taste, that bacon soda. taste test. Yeah. <laughs> so we have veggie grill uh, mukbang today. So anyway, oh, yeah. dig in. So I swear to God, I researched this and everything. It's all plant-based. So it's like, I think it's even vegan. So there's like nothing, no animal stuff. So Oof, mac yeah, and mac and cheese. cheese. That's like your favorite thing too, mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's say what we have. Yeah. So, um, I this yeah, this is the Beyond Burger. Um, no. I don't know. The, um, that looks like the burger. Okay, so we got a Beyond um, Burger. Yeah, she has a, Looks freaking it exactly looks like, like, like a burger, yeah. yeah. And then we also got, and we split everything in half so, so we like share it. Too. it. So it's exactly like a burger. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, that. shit, look at this. This is, what was this? Steak? Barbecue the steak? The barbecue steak. Sandwich. That looks real. Yeah. Even the texture, like, put it up. Even the, the, Kind of like the texture in the meat looks, yeah. or in the meat looks like it would be meat. It's crazy. It's in a it's tasty. really fucking weird. And then we got mac and cheese, sweet potato fries. What is this? That was the some kind of yeah. buffalo wrap or whatever. Buffalo chicken. Yeah, there you go. And we got crispy cauliflower with got the chicken in there with sweet and sour sauce. So we where's the here. crispy cauliflower? Right here. Oh yeah, right there. Right, right. Yeah. But yeah, it this looks, looks like a like, mushroom. This will actually looks like cauliflower, so this one's not particularly. Mmm, mm, I like that sauce. Mm -hmm. So is Veggie Girl like not a nationwide? Like I don't know how big of a chain it is. Um, I don't know if it's nationwide. I just think it's kind of like. Mm, super. Do you have ketchup? I don't. <laughs> I don't have any. Come on, Marla. I know. <laughs> well, anyway, we got the chipotle aioli or whatever that is. Okay. So dig in. What are you? Did you try the chicken? I'm gonna start with the Beyond Burger. Oh, I should also cut this. So how long does it usually take you to like edit this stuff? How long are they? Is it usually? And then how long does it take you to? Okay, <laughs> we can't have it. We, we can't. Well, can't you edit this? Oh, no, yeah. the whole time we have to. Yeah, never mind. Because you have to prove we're that we're eating. You, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I don't even know the rules. First of all, you're, number, you're the first person that questions every single mukbanger is like <laughs> that they're eating on camera. So and now true. you're asking me if I'm going to edit this video. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Hey, Marlon doesn't think that Nikocado Avocado eats I'm, all the food in his videos. I was mesmerized like the first time I saw his video. And I was actually like paying attention to his ramblings and stuff. <laughs> and there, I noticed, I thought I noticed, and actually there's people, I think they made a video out there. Somebody who mm. actually took the time and found breaks mm. in, the, in the footage. But there's specific moments where like, there's a flash of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, okay. of a difference in frames mm. and it, at those moments is usually when he's picking up where he left off on the conversation and when usually we're like what the fuck is he talking about you know if you've ever seen the videos you'll be like i don't even know what he's talking about right <laughs> it usually i noticed it came after those things like yeah. it's weird it's weird um but i think the biggest evidence of him eating it is just how big he's got <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly that's what i say so so, yeah, this, so the burger is pretty good. Like it looks like it looks like beef. It tastes. I'm gonna like, dunk it into the whole like. Yeah, dunk. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Even the texture. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't taste like not a burger. Yeah, if someone told me this is an actual burger, I would have been like, yeah, I agree. It is a burger. <laughs> it even falls apart like a real one, too. <laughs> yeah. They have a... 
Impossible Burger at Burger King now. They have a vegan mm, really? burger. Yeah. But you have to ask for them to cook it separately if you're like truly vegan. They have like an, their own grill and stuff because they can't combine it or something. So like if it's a vegan patty, whatever that means, they can't put it on the actual grill with the other ones. Or what? I think what they do is clean it. Oh, have a little section off. Like you actually have to ask for it to be like to be cooked separately. Like otherwise, they're just gonna cook it with all this. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, I want to try mac and cheese. Mm. Okay. This, this I've never tried before. Oh, my freaking knees, man. I feel like it could be. Ew! What? Is it some hair or some <laughs> fiber? I feel like it could be cheesier. Okay. Like, I'll let you try it when you get there. This is awesome. Can't believe this guy does this for a living. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was gonna ask you, what was your first reaction when you found mukbang? That like, society's going backwards, frankly. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? But, that was, like, that was my immediate reaction. But then I looked into a little bit more and I realized that if I were eating, I probably would eat, and I, let's say like Lika Cotter, right? Because he's the one I watch the most. He's pretty funny. Like if you start tuning into like the things he's saying, even his his gestures and his like um, over his overreactions, it's entertaining. So I was like, all right, I can see how people would want to watch this maybe while they're just eating and just mm -hmm. chilling. Especially because some of his videos are so dramatic. <laughs> to what? So dramatic. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was definitely confused at first, but it makes sense. Yeah. What about you? Well, I was like, fuck, I've been, I've been having the wrong channel <laughs> all this time. Like, could it just been eating on camera? <laughs> but then I also wouldn't want, like, feeders watching me constantly. Ah, yeah. That's part of the thing, right? Mm hmm I think that's a big part. Like, even if they don't say that that's what they're doing, like, you can't, you can't choose who follows you, so. That's so odd. That's yeah. such an odd, like, fetish or whatever. And it's so low-key, like, if no one... Exactly. Like, no I never sure. would suspect that somebody would be excited by that. Yeah. Uh. Like, no offense, because there's going to be some yeah. people maybe watching. Yeah, dude, keep, you know... No keep doing your thing. I'm into freaky things, too. I mean, we're all into, like... Yeah, we're all into weird into stuff. Thing. But I've never really, like... It's just so far Heard from what it. I would have imagined. Yeah. That's that's the only thing that trips me out. Like I had seen the my six hundred pound life. <laughs> no. But I didn't put it together that it's like the person's like feeding the other person. Like right. it's like a like they're gonna die, dude. Dude, you know did you ever watch uh you know Boogie Two Night a Day, right? Yeah. He went on I think it was H three's podcast mm -hmm. talking about how he got to be as big as he did. Part of it was from like childhood trauma, food became a coping mechanism for him. Um, part of it was from like some abuse that he, he was like sexually abused. And this is all stuff he said, right? Yeah. Like, um, and then, uh, but eventually when he was already a big dude, he met his, some girlfriend who was a feeder. And like, mm -hmm. for him, it was like a deal made in heaven. Like he was so in a, such a dark state of mind that he didn't care if he'd lived or died. And if he was going to die, eating to death was like a pretty awesome way to do it. Plus, he gets to like have sex with this hot chick. Like, it was just like, why wouldn't he do it? You know yeah. what I mean? So. Okay, should we do the barbecue chicken? Or yeah, the, let's do, well, let's. Or the buffalo. Let me cut this in first. Yeah. Okay. But so, it's still sad. Like, okay, if you actually love that person, like, right. Or, like, That's why it's like a twisted thing. On his side of the deal, he's just like enjoying himself yeah. but on her side there's malevolence yeah know? and like then I it, probably put it back in there. like the person um like the person's gonna have to take care of you and stuff like that. right but that's what she wanted like she literally told him according to boogie 
I want to feed you. I want you to be the biggest man alive, and like I want to feed you to death or some shit like that. She was open about her intentions. But she, but she would have to be like her, his nurse, basically, his carer. She, she didn't want when he got sick the first time. She was mad at him that he went to seek medical attention. Like that was literally her wow. goal. So that's what I'm saying. It's a very dark thing. So. Sure. Can you see it? It's Which one's smaller? Whichever. Oh yeah. This is a bar uh, what is this? The buffalo. Buffalo chicken. Buffalo wrap. chicken wrap or something. Let's let me do. I'm gonna. I'm trying to like give close ups of like the texture because it's really trippy. They're oh. like, <laughs> it looks so real. So yeah, even everything. Where'd you dip it in? This one? No. I'm just so hungry, I have forgotten to show up food. <laughs> okay, it's a little spicy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what buffalo chicken is supposed to taste like, but... It's like chicken wings. Buffalo but, chicken wings. Look how crazy that texture is. Mm -hmm. Like, it actually looks like chicken. I don't know. I don't know if it's picking it up, <laughs> but it looks like chicken. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's got a kick to it. <clears throat> Whoa! Can you see where most of your viewers come from? Mm. Is that information that YouTube lets you have? It lets me know countries. It lets me know like are people landing more on my channel from uh, suggested videos? Or websites, and sometimes it picks random websites, and I have no idea how they got my video. Come on, like embedded on their blog or something, or whoa. But I, but it's not a blog. Like I, I don't understand them because they're in another language or something. But it's happened in the past. Like I haven't checked it lately, but I, that's what I remember. Like they can track. Ooh, that is kind of hot. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get the soda, dude. Oh yeah. They can soda track. Soda pops. <laughs> soda, couple of soda pops. Okay, hurry up because I can't edit. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna be warm. I thought I put. Didn't you drink them? No. Oh shit. Okay. I could have swore you put them in the fridge. Me too. Oh, no paid advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I could have sworn I put them on the. Well, these are. It's not hot. Hot. Okay. Feel free if you want to start the other one. Have another fork, right? I'm gonna try this mac, mac and cheese here. It feels very light already. Mm hmm. Hmm. That might be the first thing that I don't like. <laughs> it's like it just doesn't taste like mac and cheese to me. I think it that's what you mean. Cheese. I think that might be what you mean by it. it needs to be cheesier. But I can almost taste like. Almost like a cinnamony. Really? Yeah, it's almost like this isn't what mac and cheese normally tastes like. Yeah. Not for me. I just feel like it needs way more cheese, like. Not for me. Like giving craft mac and cheese, like it's cheesier. Well that's yeah, that's true. That's the jam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at that. Let's see. Boom, dude, it's so crazy that this is not me. I don't believe it. Can't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, I'm gonna just take a bite of its own. Did we do a close one this one? This might be like the second. Crazy. I still haven't tried the Popeye chicken sandwich. Here's some more napkins for me. Mm -hmm. But that's what it reminds me of. It has the pickle. It's supposed to be like just chicken and pickles. And have you tried the Popeyes? Mm -mm. I don't me think either. I've ever had Popeyes. Anything. Me either. <clears throat> like I've literally never walked into a Popeyes. <laughs> okay. So, I think this one would be better. It, be, it might have been better if we had kept the onions on it. Mm -hmm. I know that you're not a fan of them, but I probably would try it again with the onions. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it would add more flavor to it. But it's it's not bad. 
So far, the first burger, the other burger, which was it? Beyond. The, the Beyond Burger. Was the best? Was, yeah, like the best of everything. Mm. I like it. I wouldn't say it, it like fools me. Come on. Yeah, right? The, this one you can kind of taste and feel a little bit. Yeah. That <clears throat> it's not beef. Just gonna dunk it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a judgment free song. The way Nick Ricardo dunks his fucking. <laughs> this guy's amazing. Just his capacity, it's just sheer capacity. Like, I'm already starting to get full. And this isn't even like a crazy novel. Yeah, this is like what? This is like what three people will eat, except it's two people. You know, we have the wrap, two oh, burgers, yeah. and some sides. This is like half of what Nick, Nick Akato would eat. Oh my god, that's fucking nuts. And that video of him when he was like thin? Dude, I don't know if you guys have seen that video. He's like the complete opposite person. Like he used to be vegan. Like vegan, thin, all earthy and shit. Like happy. <laughs> he did look happy. Like Oh well apparently I heard it was like some kind of a vegan cult or something. I don't know. I don't know his full story. He totally looked like he would have been in a cult too. Like vulnerable. Yeah. Like a, in that video, I mean specifically, like he looked like a a dude that was kind of in the, on a quest. You know what I mean? Like searching for himself or something. Mm. I really like the taste of the barbecue. And I even don't mind the the meat not feeling like meat. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't necessarily order it again. Come on. I'd rather get the Beyond Burger. Right oh, now. for sure. I tried with onions though before mm. I I see what's up with it. How the un unchanged recipe was. Not for me. I love how you're just dunking it in the sweet and sour sauce. It's good. But I do like like I do like that everything's like plant based. Cause like then you have like Burger King like burning up the Amazonian. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? And fuck the Brazilian president, dude. Saying that like, oh, the world offered, which actually does, it sounds like a lot, but I think in the context of the importance of the Amazon and how much money each government could contribute to save this global, this resource of global importance, 22 million. That's what the UN or United Nations, but multiple nations um, offer. were willing to contribute to help them turn out the fires. And the piece of shit says, no, no. excuse me, he doesn't accept it. And then once the fires are almost put out, he says, I'll accept it, but at my discretion of expending it. Yeah. Which basically means I'm going to steal it. Basically means I'll take it and I can expend it however the fuck I want. Yeah. Including not using it for the reinforce. It's like, what the fuck, dude? You're a piece of shit. You obviously don't care about the reinforce at all. So then in the future, maybe we'll have like, you know how we have like national parks? They should become like world parks, and they own they they belong to the world. It brought it, it brings up that question of like a global yeah. civilization where it's like it is not a it's not a Brazilian thing. It's, it's difficult to like how do you lay claim to something that the world needs? You no, know, like I really want to like the mac and cheese, but it's <laughs> more cheese. But yeah, like sorry, what were you saying? Well. World parks. Yeah, how do you lay claim parks. to something that the world needs, like the coral reef next mm -hmm. to Australia or whatever is it, the Great Reef next to Australia? Like, it hugely benefits the world to have that be taken care of by yeah. Australia. So I think as Earthlings, our government should be like, hey, we, we, we kind of it's in our best interest to keep that going. So we're going to donate or whatever. Our citizens want it, want us to donate on, on, yeah. on their behalf or whatever. <clears throat> or then somehow like the world should be taxed, you know, like <laughs> shit. Like how would you do that? Fuck, I don't even. Because, because uh, right now, okay, we 
get taxed and some of the money goes to Yosemite, right? But what if like the whole world is given to Yosemite, the whole world is going to the Amazon forest? You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. how would you do that? I mean, you would have another world government right? that you have to police. It's almost like... It's almost like it would have to be a UN for yeah. for the preservation of like of life on the yeah where like each country has representatives and they I don't know they, they sort it out yeah. <laughs> somehow I mean each, the individual can do what they can do right like I could donate to some nonprofit or some government agency or something I don't know if I could go donate to government actually but like some some nonprofit yeah, yeah. <laughs> some nonprofit in Australia who's who's taking it upon themselves to take care of that mm -hmm. I could do that yeah, you can. But I'm just one dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a um, Amazonian rainforest trust or something like that. Rainforest trust. They're like they use your oh, yeah. money and they buy the land. Whoa. Yeah, I gave to them when their whole fire thing was like a big deal. They buy the land. So that like oh, that so they the own it for the sake of leaving it the yeah. fuck alone. That's one way to do it. But it's like the whole world needs to own it. Yeah, I can't even begin to imagine how complicated it would be to do that. Oh my god. I hope we get there. Look, we chat. We... 22 see. minutes. In 22 minutes, we finished everything. 23 almost. Yeah. Almost. Oh, it does look. Maybe paprika? Mm. It looks like it has some. Some herb. Red flakes or something. Okay, I read this on Reddit the other day. It was like, the more expensive the mac and cheese, the less it tastes like mac and cheese. And that's true. <laughs> Where did you read? Is that a shower thought? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> it sounds like it. I love it. Again, there's like a world contribution, you know? Everyone's posting shit on Oh, really? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I can even eat that. I'm pretty full. My respect goes to Nikocado. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite videos of him are the noodles, like... The noodle king? When I eat a noodle, anything, in my head, that's how I want to feel. Like, I just want to, like, shove my head in a shitload little noodles, like, like... <laughs> <laughs> that's what noodles so feel like. So it's, like, satisfying? Yeah. Just be able to, like... Yeah. That's funny. But that's the only food that I feel that way. Just only noodles, like... But if you do that with your noodles, you're, like... Choke. Finish them in two minutes, like, <laughs> and also choke. <laughs> Gregory choked like that one time. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Because you used to just do that. Okay, there's four, because you know it's cup noodle. Yeah. It's like one bite if you really take a big bite. Yeah. He just went. <laughs> had to like smack the shit out of his back. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, if you put the mac and cheese with the barbecue beef, works better? Yeah, it works better. Already innovating. These cauliflower ones are good. Like, the taste is good, but I just like the, the texture. Mm -hmm. It works. Like, cauliflower is actually a really good idea for that. Yeah, and like, you can have the last one. I don't know if I can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll um, have the last sweet potato fry. And like I, I don't know. I know it's Ooh. covered in some batter and deep fried, but it's but I mean, cauliflower. What else, dude? Like it. At least you're not eating like a deep fried potato, you know, or like it's a little bit better. I don't know. I appreciate the fact that I have a choice to eat veggies for fast food. Yeah, I think for stuff like that, that's a good substitute to like potato. It's definitely lower calorie content just because of the mm. potato straight up starch, you know, as a straight up carbohydrates. This it's also carbohydrates, but it's yeah. cauliflower. I wonder how much cauliflower calories are in cauliflower. Well I wonder how much like calories? How yeah, how high the calorie content of 
cauliflower. I can't imagine him being even anywhere near as close as potato. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. What was your favorite? Definitely the Beyond Burger. Yeah. Is like amazing. We would totally have that again. It's they were all good, yeah. except for the mashed potato. I mean, uh, the mac, mac and cheese. cheese was like the one thing that was like, eh. But only because it needed more cheese. Mm. The bu the buffalo wrap, buffalo chicken wrap was really good too. Yeah. Especially dunked in the. And the buffalo uh, wrap actually looked like chicken. Yeah. And, and the cake was nice. It wasn't too yeah. spicy, but it was nice. Yeah. yeah. Overall, fucking thumbs up. Yeah. Man. I can't believe this. Thumbs is, up yeah. to Veggie Grill. Uh, please sponsor me. You're one of my dream sponsors. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you for watching this video if you still are. Subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. What up? And follow me. <laughs> yeah, follow me on social media. What's your social media? Oh uh, dude, I don't want to do it. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Okay, follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, at May May Ling Ling, same as my website. <laughs> thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs>